G'day folks, this afternoon it's time for an adventure of a different kind. It's time for a trout fishing adventure, a motorbike trout fishing adventure. Let's go and get adventurous. Motorbike trout fishing. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Oh yeah, folks, I've just pulled up. My ears are still ringing. My fingers are still tingling. <laughs> Everything I need is in here, ready to go. I've got my four-piece Crucius fishing rod there, my reel and all my tackle, my lures and stuff are in there, and my in my black shoulder bags in there. My gum boots are in there. A full change of clothes to wear home on the motorbikes in there. Everything I need is in there. My camera gear. It's getting late in the afternoon. I better get set up. Right, folks, I've made it down to the creek. Now, because the light is a little bit low, there won't be any slow motion footage because I'm shooting at 30 frames per second instead of the normal 60. I'm starting off with the Stry Tiger Nymph in starlight colour. I've chosen this colour because it's black. It's black with blue flecks through it. But there's a lot of crickets around at the moment this time of the year. So I'm just hoping that it might mimic a cricket. And I'm going to be trying out the new Stry Tiger Trout Oil UV Treated. This is really cool, if you hit this with a UV light or a black LED light, it actually goes bright green like some kind of chemical waste. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going, to be, uh, I'm going to be using this. Now, UV to a fish is like a light on. It's like the lure having a light on. Fish, apparently, and a lot of other animals too, apparently see UV really well. In fact, a lot of hunters, they'll wash their hunting clothes in special washing detergent, which hasn't got UV treaters in it because they don't want the UV to be on the uh, on any of the clothing because apparently the deer can see it as well. So all I can see is oil, but the, to the trout I'll see bright green and bright colours there. I believe UV lures and stump jumpers have a range of UV covered, covered lures as, long, as well as many other lures. I, I like UV in low light or in shadows. I think in bright sunshine it can be a little bit of overkill. But anyway, we'll put it on now in the late afternoon light and, and most of the creek's going to be shaded and give it a crack and see how it goes. Nice looking bit of water. Very bright without any polaroids on it. Here comes a fish. He's gone it, got him. Yeah, oh, I lost him. Bugger. Bugger. He was a nice fish too. There he goes. I was just going to say it's very bright without my polaroids, but I've just, uh, because it's getting late in the afternoon, I've just gone with my reading glasses. Bugger. Almost caught the first one. Let's fish this one from a while back. Come on, go, oh, go! He swiped it. He didn't feel like a bad fish either. One good thing about soft plastics, because they're natural, often they'll come back and have another go. I saw him, he's in there, he didn't come. Yeah, I think he saw it, but he didn't hit it again. Bugger. Not a bad fish that one either. What about now? Now, oh, swipe! No. Nah. He's swiping it, but he's just not hitting it hard enough. Or swiping at it, didn't hit it at all. What about now? Follow? No. Nah. Bloody unbelievable. Got him! Yes, oh, done him too! Oh, some days. 
some days that's three i'm going to pull the claws off that just to make it a little bit more enticing a little bit like a smaller food source i was going to loosen the dragon but the drag but i'm not it's already quite loose i just don't think he hit it hard enough to uh pull drag very much Got all the bubbles on this hole. Surely there's got to be fish seeking refuge under there. There he is. Connie, oh, don't wrap me around there. No, 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 no. Right. I've got one. First one. But I'm in trouble. <laughs> nice fish, too. Ah. He's still there. He hasn't got off yet. He's going to, though, I think. If I'm not careful. He's a lovely brown. Come on, mate. Come on. Got him. I might just unhook him down here. There we go, folks. Beautiful brown trout. Look at that. Caught on the uh, starlight coloured nymph. You're beauty. She's been a bit tough. I've had a few hookups and missed opportunities and finally caught one. Here you come. There we go. Lovely brown trout. See you later, buddy. I was lucky to get him, he, uh, he put me through a bit of curry. As Lindsay from 664 down under would say, a little bit of curry on the go. <laughs> You'll be out here. Oh, got him. Yes. Oh, nice fish too. I was fishing that from well back. I was standing as far back as I could because I'm spooking so many fish today. I was standing way back down there when I fished here. Here's a lovely fish. I might even get a photo of this one. Right, I've got my camera ready. What happens next may shock you. I'll lose the fish. <laughs> That's what normally happens when you get the camera ready. Alright. Buddy, you're a beauty, buddy. Thank you very much. A real quick snap before you kick around. Right, hey folks, I'll unhook him. I've got a quick photo, beautiful brown trout. See you later, mate. Oh, there he goes. Wow, I've spooked so many fish today. I've certainly spooked a lot more than I've caught. They're very, very flighty. They're seeing me coming from a mile away. I cast into this pool just here from way back, I think I was way over there, behind all those reeds and stuff. I thought if I walk up here, I'm going to spook everything like I have every other hole. <laughs> you beauty! Wow. I just hit the deck in the biggest possible way. There's my phone. I climbed down there, I tripped, landed on my right knee on that rock, went down. This is really sore. My knee's okay. Thankfully my phone's waterproof. Look, it's even got a little bit or icon, a water icon on it. <laughs> I'm drenched, check this out. My shirt is all wet. I'm saturated. That was a pretty rough fall, I can tell you now. It was one of the, the one of the hardest falls I've had for quite a while. Well folks, I've had a blast. I lost a couple, I caught a couple, I had a lot of fun, I fell ass overhead. All in the name of good fun. Now the Stry Tiger UV treated lure scent. Is it any good? Did it work? That's something we'll never know the answer to. A bit like rattles in cod lures. Do they work? We'll never ever know. Some people love them, some people don't. But the uh, one thing I do know is that I had that UV treated Stry Tiger lure scent on today and it didn't hinder the performance of the soft plastic in any way. The fish were still climbing all over it. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully you'll join me on my next fishing adventure.